guys welcome back to another video on the trader sword series i am mr success of Buna, your host on this traders journey and this is the first video for the month of august so i'll be talking a lot of amazing amazing stuff so today i'll be teaching you guys how to cash out during the forest market for the month of august or in the month of august so it's how to actually cash out in the forex market in the month of august and before i jump into this right i have a very special announcement to make right and that is uh, i have a challenge going on it's called the trade and grow rich challenge right now this challenge is not a competition right like a lot of you guys are thinking it's not a competition it's just a challenge where we get to set daily targets right a weekly targets and a monthly targets for every trader and i also help to support you now, a lot of you guys have not actually seen me uh, taking live tweets or, that, or just my 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 community, right? Just my students. So a lot of times you, you only see screenshots of my tweet, but you don't even know how and when I get into these tweets and all that. So in this tweet and grow rich challenge, I'll be sharing with you guys my tweet signals. Yes, and I noticed something a lot of you guys have been waiting for, right? And and a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do for you since, right? So to this uh, challenge is going to be a monthly challenge and it's going to be a subscription base. And I actually have to think to the, think this through with my team. And although nat the natural price for this challenge was supposed to be $50, right? $50 for a month because certainly you can make over that. <laughs> you make certainly over that no matter the size of your account, right? So instead of the size of your account in a month. But I've had to actually look at how to bring everybody in because I feel that it's almost uh, December, right? And a lot of big Bills are already in the sky and demands, uh, pressures, and all that is already hitting a lot of you traders already. And this, uh, this in the way, is also affecting your trading. So this is why the trade and grow rate challenge is very crucial for you. So, but then the fee I've put it down. To, I've beat. I've been able to beat it down to the barest minimum of just ten dollar for those in using the, the watching me from Nigeria just 8,500 Naira. So if you're from another country, just convert $10, $10 to your currency and hit my, hit me, uh, hit, there's, there's a link on the, I think you can get to see my WhatsApp or my email, right, on the, from the description section. Use that to send a chat to me or send me a message or contact any member of my team, right, from the, from our website, um, our support team, that will help you to, join that challenge right again it's not a competition it's just a challenge where we get to where i get to trade with you we get to grow together try to get to learn together and also get to make money together so guys you really want to be like me you don't want, you don't, you don't, you don't want to make money like i am doing in the market like me and my team i don't want to have these chicks these big, big chicks <laughs> so right this challenge is for you right now it's gonna help you actually a lot of you guys who uh, have a lot of issues with with being uh, with so with being profitable right this challenge is going to ensure that because i'm i'm, I'm, I'm i've actually drafted a tweet tweeting plan that each and every one is going to follow and i'll totally I'll follow up on each and every member of that community to make sure everyone is trading and acting according to the plan because the thing is Trade the market, you need a plan, you need a very strict plan. If you really, you really want to make money from this market, if you really want to be profitable in this market, it way goes way beyond your strategy and all that stuff, right? Right? That well, a lot of times when you ask yourself, Mrs. Success, you come up here every weekend, you share trading opportunities and every time, but not everybody gets to make money from the, all the analysis I share here every week, week in, week out. I know that and I see that every time, right? I know some, there are some persons who obey instructions check the trades and they make money. There are those who don't even know when to even enter the market and make money and all that. So this is why this challenge is for you. So this challenge will help me uh, cover up or make, uh, make, help me make everybody make money from the market, right? So this is challenge. This challenge is actually for you. And it is starting actually uh, September 4th. But those who are with the registration is already on. We have our ads running already. Registration is already on. So for those who are already registered in the month of August, you are will be you'll be getting these benefits for free in the month of august so if you the month of august just just started so from next week for any of you, any of you who is joining the challenge by uh by, from monday or tuesday or this weekend watching this video i'm just watching this video join the challenge so that you can also make money like i'm doing with my people right so this this is how you this is where and when this when this this actually don't mind me right this actually provides you the opportunity to actually get to make money like i am doing 
right? This actually makes it helps you make money like I am doing with my team from the market. So it is where you actually see me trade, take live trades and all that. I don't, I don't come down, I don't come up here to share live trades and uh, my trading, what the money I'm making and all that. I don't like to make all that noise, right? Because I feel that will say, that might send uh, the wrong message or the wrong, sort of wrong signal to a lot of people. And also, you know, this is Nigeria. You have to be also... Yeah, you need to be conservative, you need to be resilient, you need to protect yourself for some people, so the people from the other world come for you. Right? So that's just about that. So if you really want to make money to in the forest market, you want you want a sustainable and a structured model to make money from this market, then sign up for the trade and grow which challenge we are getting trade with you. We get the entire the entirety of that uh, the challenge is for me for you guys to get to trade with me and we all make money in the market. So guys, with the business of the day, how to actually cash out in the month of August. Now, that's what I want to share with you guys, and I think it's really important, right? It's really important. A lot of traders don't really pay attention to this, but it's, it's something I have seen over the years. I've seen it happen over the years in the market. Now, every quarter of the, for every quarter of the year, that's the way the market reacts. That's the way the market behaves in every quarter of the year, right? And I need to, I need to, I need to listen to this very carefully. Now, every quarter, the volatility of the market reduces by the quarter. So the first quarter of the year is usually the most volatile part of the market. usually the most volatile phase of the market because by that time, a lot of markets are wait are just are waking up for the year. A lot of a lot of investing is coming going in the market. A lot of people are pumping money in the market. A lot of money is coming in coming in into the market. So volatility is very very high. Liquidity is on the high side. Right? So that is for the first quarter of the year. Now, second quarter, the thing it drops a little, but that there's a, quite a lot of a lot of activities going on. Now, by the third quarter, which is where which is what we are in right now, the volatility of the market actually drops. Right, a lot drops significant. It drops it drops not so significant anyway. It drops, but may, you you will see it in the way the market behaves. Right, some of you have been trading the market lately. You could tell that the market has been very slow this period. Market has not been given all that very big movements. Those the, some of the, some of those problem challenges that take you just three days or four days to pass. Let me taking you almost weeks, or months to actually get to hit your target. It is not your fault, right? That's the truth. It's not. It is not about you. It is just the market, right? So volatility is reducing. So the market is beginning to range more. Now, when we enter the last quarter of the which is from September, it's going to be very crazy. The volatility will be really, really slow. Be really, really slow. We're gonna be seeing a lot of a lot of range going, a lot of range, right? So it that uh, a lot of and this is because mo most of these investors who have invested in the first half of the year, in the first quarter of the year, a lot of them would want to start uh, cashing out, taking up profits. Right, so that's why the market is really more for the most cases. So those of you trading trading gold in particular, you have to be very careful for this period. If you're trading gold, right? Some of these high volatile stocks, uh, 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 assets, you need to be very careful. You need to be very careful with this because there will be a lot of range laws, unnecessary spikes, and all that. So you want to be very careful, actually very strict on your risk management and your trading plan. So this uh, this is why the trade and grow which challenge is very important because you get to see me show you these things, right? You get to see me show you these things, right? And also very importantly. You need to also uh, uh, learn to manage your risk this period. Yeah, you, you need to be very hard on your risk management, and also different these different quarters, right? Have that different your 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 plan, your approach to the market at these different quarters is different. Right? Your approach to the the the, to the, your, the way you trade your trading plan for the first quarter of the year should be different from the, your trading plan from the second quarter of the year, third quarter of the year, up to the last quarter, which is the first quarter, which is what we are about to enter. So the the different plan, the different uh, uh, phases require different trading plans. So you don't use the same strategy. You use the first to, to fight the first war, to fight the second war, or the third war, the fourth war. No. You have to different war or seasons require different strategies, different approach. So this is why the, again the trade, the trade and growth challenge is important, and also the forex mastery course is also important. If you're a newbie, you really want to learn how to trade. You want to learn how to trade the forex market like I'm doing with my community. The link is down below from the description section where you can get to sign up for the forex mastery course 
all the crypto mass if you have a crypto enthusiast you really want to make money you really love crypto the crypto space we will also have a course for you a program for you to right? you also have a many different mentorship plans for to help you make money trading either of these markets right so but then the intention of the, all this is me be giving you this announcement give, giving you this opportunity on the trade and grow rich challenge so even if you're a newbie you can also participate on the trade and grow rich challenge at least you raise some money so i can take up the courses to build yourself right to build yourself because at the end of the day this market is a long term thing right it's a market that is always open 247 for you but so it doesn't require you it doesn't require the permission of anybody to open it only it's always open for you before you be about the market i've been there you will grow old, you hand over the knowledge you should learn, the market will still be there. So take your time, get to learning because the trade and growth challenge will not be forever, right? A lot of things will change in the future, but your knowledge, the knowledge of you, you will get from the Forex Master course will be with you forever. So that is why the course is very important, why the trade, why the trade and growth challenge will be a support for you to be able to earn or to make money from the Forex market right so guys again that, that there are a lot of opportunities for us to make to make money in the month of august so where what are these opportunities where are these opportunity that's i'll be showing you guys on my next screen right where i can get to where i get to share my charts with you and all the many amazing stuff you need to learn you know to see in the markets so what the market is what is the market really doing what the market really seeing and what other questions you have in your mind a lot of persons have been asking me questions throwing a lot of stores to me or my dms and what says this this look at this structure all of you are sending your charts don't send your charts to me right and, and this is why i come to share my chat with you guys every weekend like this i get to share my charts and show you this is what you should do so don't come and be sending chat to me because i've already shared chat with you already so guys what right about now? I'll be taking you guys to my next screen and I'll be showing you guys all the money making opportunities in the, for the month of August. So, before we jump there right there, ensure to subscribe to this channel again. Turn on notification, give this video a thumbs up, give me some fire emoji, ginger me so that I can show you guys my chance. So, guys, let's go over there. Hello, guys, welcome back to my screen. Here on this chart, I'll be showing you guys all the opportunities you need to watch out for in the month of August. And how to actually position yourself for profits in the market in the month of August, right? And also, hopefully, this will also definitely will also cut across through the end of the year too. But majorly for the month of August, what are the opportunities for you? What, uh, how can you make money this trading the forex market or the crypto market this month? So one of the first things I love to do is to show us the narrative right i i i have my peers i have i have the peers i trade and i love to stick with them and i also sets i love to look out for the narrative that controls their flow and for, for those of you who have been following me for the longest time you know that i only trade usd peers and jpy peers right and the jpy peers is just once in a while right once in a while i've not really traded jpy peers for a while now but majorly i've been trading uh usd peers majorly to usd peers so sometimes i complement it with JPY pace. And this is why I always look out for the narratives that control these two different markets, right? And the first for the for the DX for the USPS, I look at the DXY, which is one of the major uh which was which is one asset that sets the narrative on all USD on the, on the USPS, right? So you can see what is going on from the monthly time frame, right? I'm coming, I'm I'll be I cannot be I do it. I'll go for the monthly time frame, weekly time frame, daily time frame, I'll just flow. I just flow with the market and also that, that way it is easy for us to see what is really the story the market is really telling and now we can flow with it and make money off it right so now this is the extra from the money time frame you see that the market is not looking so it's not has not been looking so good since uh this year that's true that's not really, this is this year is one of the one of the very difficult uh, years to to be a trader amongst at least several other years you can see that the market has been flowing like last year, for instance, you can market at least for for a long time for the long. Market has been going up, coming down, but yet since this year, since January, you can see this this uh, candle year, this bearish candle year is January. This is February. This is March, April, May, June, July. Now August. You can see all through this year, we have just been inside this range, right? The market has just trapped us inside this range. So this is why this is really difficult for a lot of traders. Who are especially swingers like uh, myself. So this is why you need a top-down analysis again. This is why again, this is why you need a top-down analysis because you are not restricted. You are not restricted to a particular pattern of trading. 
right it works for any different market conditions different kinds of uh, trading approach whether position uh position trader swing trader uh, so swing trader scalper or whatever kind of trader you are it has this strategy works for you or irrespective of who you are cultural race or whatever this strategy works for you and would print money for you any day any time right so for the longest period of since this year we have just been inside here and no indicator can show you this right this is the power again of price action this is the power of the forest master cost too right because it's this through this cost or do this it's the only price action that can show you these stuffs i can i can only show you this stuff so you can see maybe i just been inside here so this is why a lot of times it is not really sustainable you are not able to re it's been really difficult this day is one of the toughest it's one of the toughest to be a trader because of this situation in the market okay right? so we're going to the weekly time frame you see the market is beginning it's beginning to it was not beginning to open up a bit right market is not beginning to open up a bit so you can see it now last week i called because we are, we are just going up uh moving sinusoidally sinusoidally now definitely uh the x one looks like it's going up going up right now it's kind of looking bullish right now all right you can see it so this is the x one from the daily time frame showing us the immediate situation of the market so look, if you're looking at this i thought to do something let me see this is it okay we have to do something from here okay yeah all right well, you notice something that uh, the matter has been doing the market seems to be respecting this trend right so this and this is now this is the power of the forex mastery course again uh, and i talk about it a lot of times people say we so, so are breaking too much about this course let me brag guys let me brag the brag right is, is your brag is your brag so uh okay we just one of our stretch and let me just move this this is not necessary okay this is just a perspective i'm trying to paint right the month of uh august just we are just starting it and if it was was yesterday Right, it was on Friday, and it was on Friday, and uh, it's it, it in a way it stretched the markets, took the markets to this point, to the point where we are seeing right now that okay, we have tested this uh, trend, and looking like we are coming back down. But overall, from the weekly time frame, let's see something. Let me just show something. The weekly time frame is showing us that hello, that okay, we've been going like this, going up, down, okay. We'll be moving like this down. Go every time we touch it, we come down, we touch it again, we lay down now. If I don't know that so uh right, it's worth another touch and you can like okay, fine. Your X was was is gonna be bleeding down, right? But it's it, it's 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 uh it's 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 not a so clear situation right now, right? I know I'm saying that it is because of because we are very close to this support level. Right, I'm very close to the support level, right? So I I I, I want to see what the market will do around the by Monday because let me just show us why it's taking really it why it's it's not a so clear situation. I want now this is not the this is not the perfect market I want you to jump in to, but this is this market from the four hour time frame. If you look at this from the four hour time frame, let me show you something. So you know you know why I'm just looking like I was talking. So this is what I'm trying to see. No, I need to see this. You can see this, right? We're winding up, down, up, down. So we're, it's more like we've touched here. And so the thing is, market that has put us in a tight zone. We are in the we are we are in a corner. The market has put us in a corner on a, on a tight edge of serious indecision. Right? On a tight edge of serious indecision. So this is me saying, okay. I want to see the market completely break out of this area. I want to see the market break out of this area. If, it's, if you want to, if you, if you want to drop down, I want to go up, let it go and break out of this resistance here, which I feel might be really difficult for it. 
So right now it is a lot easier to say, okay, the market could break this, but then I will also, uh, but it, it's easier for you to do this, break below here and bleed down, but it is not so easy too. Right? It is not so easy. You know, it's, it is not so easy, but it's what, what we want to make sure that from the daily time frame, because since the daily time frame paints the, 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 the big paints the two or the, the recent or the instant states of the market, things instant state of the market, it's only natural to want to say, okay, this guy might, I'm looking at, okay, potential drop, which is already happening on the XY. Right? So, these are some sending me messages. So, potential drop on the XY, which is what is looking like it's happening already. We are coming up, down, down, up, down, and up again now. We have retraced and now we are coming down. But I want to see it really, really, really come down. Right, so but then I want to see the actually clear or will come above here. So the thing is, it's not really, it is not safe yet because we are very close. We have touched this important level. We are very close to this very important sensitive level here. I really close to this very sensitive level here. So I would want to really just watch the market do what it wants to do. Right, I want to be very careful. Not about now on the market, right? It's, it is not a so clear situation on the market, right? Right. So, but then it's it is also safe to say okay, the market wants to bleed down, but this is a very sense. This is a very significant level, right? If you look at it, face it back to the weekly, daily, you can you are going to admit that this is a very significant level that twice is here. This level here is a very significant level. And for weeks we have been pushing up, pushing up. Now we go to this trend, and I say rejection. Fine, there's a rejection around this. So let's see. So if anything would, if anything happens on the extra, this might if it breaks below this level, if it ever breaks below, it goes. I, I want to watch it around this level. I want to definitely watch it because I feel. This might be just be this might just be what is happening. This is the story I'm talking about. This then we go like this. This is possible, right? This is possible. Or, or the market maybe wants to do this, come back down, give us a lower, go back very low, or give us a double bottom around here, and that will be the reason to ignite up. You can see the scenarios I'm painting all from here. This is not the tough situation. We go, we go, go from a lower, a lower, a lower low, come back down, yeah, then keep going low. So these are the these are the three different scenarios that the market is likely painting. That, and if you're a trader, you know that we think in probabilities. We leave, we leave our we make our options, leave our options open to see our probabilities play out. So we are not, we are not uh we are not uh, aggressive. We don't. It was please not the season for you to be aggressive on entry, making careless entries. You want to be patient to see the market actually uh, make you comfortable. You want to be. You, you want to be careful enough to watch the market actually play out. Yeah, you want to be patient enough to watch the market play out because you, if, if you rush in, you're gonna rush into blowing your account. Right, you're gonna rush into blowing accounts. Right. We're gonna rush into playing account. So this is what I want to. This what these are the these are the three different scenarios. I want to be. I want. Uh, I want to assume the market wants to paint. And these are the diff three different scenarios. I feel the market might want to paint. Right. These are the three different scenarios. I feel the market wants to paint on the X Y. I want feel the X Y is painting. Right. These are the three different scenarios. I feel the X Y is painting. So the next PR, the next thing I want to look out for is a uh, JPYPS. So when you take take note of G, uh, the XY, what the XY is doing now, JPY baskets, uh, JPY basket, JPY basket, which which is the narrative, which is which says the narrative for JPYPS, we can see that uh, you are just between lower lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Like forming lower lows or being cold lows, and we look like we are pushing back up. So for a for a few months, so you can see it's a lot a little more easy to look at uh, JPY baskets. It's it's very it's a very straightforward uh, 
the child is very straightforward. The marker is looks really straightforward. So for for it is only safe to look this expert that this guy wants to form an a, a morning star around this beast to shoot us up to this maybe to this trend line. Who knows what is going uh, like, I feel that's what he's doing. Right, I feel that's what he's doing. So it wants to just maybe go up. You might see it go back up to form this before it drop. So I think this might have this. I think this is what he wants to do. So for a couple of weeks. For the next few weeks to happen, or uh, for the next few weeks or so, I feel that the X and J Y basket is going to be bullish. Uh, it's going to be bullish. It's going to be bullish. It's going to be bullish. J Y basket is going to be bullish. So you can see it's already happening. You can see it already happening, coming down, forming. It's already forming. This is a, a, a higher low. It's a another higher low. You can see it around here. This is a higher low, right? This is a higher low. This is another higher low around here happening already. So you can see, so like it's already the minute is already moving. So, my, but then this this level again, this level is an obstacle for it. Just like uh, the X Y has its own obstacle. So this level here that was broken is another obstacle that I feel that needs to be broken. For us to be satisfied, because that way this can also happen for the daily time frame is putting us on a very tight corner. So you might, you might see this happening. Oh, you might see this happen. So this is these are the two different scenarios. Or options we have on cheap web basket. So everything, everything now revolves on what happens around this um, resistance. Are we breaking it? Or is it giving us a bounce? So it's probably going to bounce from it. Right, just like what you have on the XY2. So what you have on the XY2. Are we breaking this with these supports? So you can see. Watch about basket is, it has a, a resistance and as, a, as an obstacle. The expert has what a support as an obstacle. So this is just to convalidate what I've been always preaching here that these two will always move in contrast. Those two will always move in contrast to also uh, validate that the market overall is trending. Will be trending, right? Will be trending. But then with, with, with the structure we are seeing on them. The trend might be very, uh, might be a very crazy trend, a more that kind of trend, trend range. I don't know what, if there, I don't know if there's any word like that, a trending range, a, bit, a ranging trend. That's what we're going to be seeing in the coming weeks and in the coming months too, because of the situation. Like it's looking really scattered, right? So the first thing I want to look at for is you know USD. Now, a lot of you guys have been calling for this guy. Okay, fine. Let me show you guys something. Uh, monthly time frame. This guy is, is really fighting from the monthly time frame. I don't want to clean this because I want to show you some, there's something clear. I want you to, I want you to see on um, the daily time frame. So you can see that. Uh, from the monthly time frame, right? So we're broken out of this. We have been, we have been inside this range. For the longest of times, and we broken it. We broken now. We broke it. We came to this level almost around parity. We broke below parity level, and price immediately on, on this support level. That's a strong. Sorry, guys. That was a strong rejection on this level. And we see price shooting back up. But we see price now. We see price shooting up. Overall, being bullish. I will simply switching up being overall bullish. So from the weekly time frame, we notice something that after every time we try to go up around this level, this 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 uh channel, yes, that is the word now. This channel, market uh, uh market has been respecting this channel, that is the word, yes. Right? Market has been respecting this channel. I saw you can ask how do I draw this and all that. Model again, model, I think model two. Yes, module two of the forex. Some of the two, yes, module two of the forex mastery course. I explain these things. I showed you how to draw them and everything you need to know about them. What's have been done for you here. 
and mode 2 of the forest master course and all the lines and all that mode 2 mode 2 mode 1 is on everything candlesticks psychology different candlestick patterns and all that so mode, that's mode 2 of the forest master course you get to see all these channels and all that so uh, major zones significant levels and all that all that are in the course so if you've not gotten a copy of the forest master course you're missing a lot but we are missing a little bit of money on the table so data FM gives us a better story right on the market so you can see i know a lot of you guys are already shouting bullish 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 bullish, bullish. so uh, i think uh last was it last week yes last week i told us something very important that's okay i do this level so i told you guys so this is level one i'm at this green level here as mode one this was my level four. this is my level two and i told you that i be expecting this price to reverse from either level one or level two so you can see price got to level one and it's given us a form of reversal but personally i'm not satisfied right so so, so to those of you who've been following me i've just been taking it easy on the market right uh on my major accounts i've not really been i've i've, I've not really touched them that much i've not mixed so much on my major accounts yet that's because i, I want to really see the markets really really play out uh see it play out as i want it to so that i can ride it up right so i know a lot of you guys have been other places are already shouting bulls you are bullish they are already buying and holding and are already holding their buy position let me just give you this advice for free if you're holding any buy position on euro usd just quit on that right my advice is don't to don't trust that 100 percent yet because i feel this this have a uh, level two I feel this is a more realistic point to see the buy happen. So I can come back down here. This is what this is a more uh, realistic. Should I use the word realistic flow now to expect from the market? Because it, you can see the market. This this is like a channel. The market has been expecting a channel. We come back here. We went up, came back down, tested it again. Back for every time we touch it, with that that's a reaction. We have a major reaction. So you can see we we'll touch it, you can see market pull back down here and it's shooting up, right? So the market now comes back down here. Now this will now look like that like structure, like, you know, the market, that's what it goes for. Uh, the market respects structure. That's what I want you to know, guys. The market would always respect structure. So this is why I marked at this level, right? So my, I feel once from, if once, once price, I feel the market is going to drop to level two before we see that, that push to the upside. Market is going to do this before we see that push the upside. So when he, when he does this, now this is what will happen. We can see that we will now have more like an inverse head and shoulders pattern. This is the left shoulder. This is now be the head. This is the right shoulder. This is a more choose this structure to trade. I need to start thinking like this. This is how I need you guys to think. And you can. It is much more realistic. It is more much more possible for you to see some of these pictures I am showing you. When you've taken the forex mastery course, when you've taken the forex mastery course, the link is down below from the description section again to take that course. Right? So this way is more you can you can see say this uh, uh this a lower high. So this is a higher low, higher high, higher low, put from the next high. So this this is where I expect to buy. This is a more realistic level or point to buy the market. That is just a tool. This is a more realistic point to buy the market. So, guys, if you're already holding your buy, I want you to just hold your, hold your, be holding yourself because you can see as far as go to this neckline, you can see the rejection. That is because it is not sustainable to push price up from that, from level one, from this point. Level two is a more balanced point. It's a more balanced. See, the market is only spending a, a story. Now, this is the story. I feel this is the story the market is pointing. Although this might not be 100 percent but at least I will give this a, an 80 or a, a 70 or 80. This is what the market is going to be doing. Right? So by Monday, I think it's gonna pull back down, push us back down again. And before we, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see this play out in the coming weeks. But right? in the coming weeks, this is what I feel will be playing out in the market. Right? I feel this is what is going to be playing out in the market. So, guys, if you've been trading, this is what you should be watching out for. This is what you should be watching out for on Euro, 
USD. So I've given you guys the points, and this is a major thing I've been looking at for me too on this pair. So let's look at GU. Right? GU, what is GU saying from the monthly, from the month? Alright, let me clear GU somehow. Right, so I'll throw this point later. I pride myself on having clean charts so that I can see what I'm actually saying. There is no woo-woo anywhere. Right? There is no woo-woo anywhere. So this is the this is GU also like you know what is going on monthly. Money time frame, we are going on the range and uh, we broke it and uh, we are coming pushing back up, right? So, for reason best known in the market, who this is significant level, we called it and there was a rejection, right? On this level, so when I tried to now, so let me introduce my people, Nachi, to see what's really happened, why we were having that structure. So, we discovered that 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 I discovered that okay, that level is a very it's a, it's it's a it's a very significant level. And this level is a very this is a very important level. Now that was hence the rejection we price is having around that around that point around this level. But then you can see that we have we have a very uh, if we have a 50-50 situation, a rejection from the upside and also a rejection from the downside. You can see that we are pushing up, pushing down. So I feel that uh, with, this also, this also, a, a, this also the market telling you to take it easy, right? Again, that's the market also telling you, hey, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, right? take it easy, don't, don't rush it. That market, that, that's the market in a way telling you also, don't rush it, don't rush it, take it easy, don't rush it, All right? Take it easy, don't rush it. So this is it. So we are, you can see this area, this area we are in here, it's a very crazy, it's a very crazy level. Area that market market needs to clear either below or down for the market for GU to actually give us a better direction where it's headed from the daily time frame. So now let's see it from the daily time frame and see what exactly this range is looking like. Now from the from the daily time frame, you can see that we got it, we, we bounced us back down to this point, and now we are we are here, and it is bouncing us again, trying to bounce us up again to the upside, right? It's also trying to bounce us also to the upside, but let me see. Let me see if I can put out something for you guys from here. Yeah, Here's something for me to plot. Let me see. 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 Okay, I think this is the line. Okay. GU is already pointing knots. Now this is a very, 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 very tempting something. Right? So on this trend, I guess that was a touch. We came back touch. We came back that touch. We came back. To it again and. Does it rejection around here? Around this level, so just, just, just maybe, just maybe because hmm, I don't like, I don't like, I don't know what I, I don't, I don't like the story that to you is painting because it's looking like it is contrary to contradict what uh, EU is doing. But again, this is the market we have to flow with it. So you can see, you can see this, you can see this, guys. You can see this. Like this, what you got this? Like this, what it is? It's, it's, it's trying to see. But let me see from the weekly time frame. Let me see something from the weekly time frame. So the weekly time frame is saying, okay, I might bleed down to this point. Let me see. Let me see. It's a relation around there. So you can like, okay, I want to, I want to go up. Right. So do you is telling us, say, I want to buy. That's what GU is painting. He is saying us I want to buy. Just like EU, EU. Right? But I feel that uh, since EU is one of the most traded assets and it's actually 
it actually it's more like the captain of all, all every other USDPS. So this might somehow be an old, right? I feel that the story that GU is trying to paint might be an old to align to make it to let it align with uh, what GU is saying, right? Because look, let me just take us back to the EU. So to what EU is saying. So and look at EU here, yeah, right? Although yes, we have a we have a, we have a bullish call and all that, but that looks like okay, market wants to from here. Now we shoot up. I think it's gonna drop from down drop down to this point before we get this. So this is GU. So let me see. So this is EU, I mean. So let me see GU. So then uh for GUN, let me let me show you something, guys. From the four hour time frame, I want to see GU actually 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 actually. I want to see actually nuclear this. I want to see how GU will survive this hold though. This hold will around here. No matter, no matter how the Karagara is doing. But I, I want to see how it will actually survive the hold down there. Or let me see this here. Okay. Okay, let me just put this here. I think, okay, this also, uh, let me just leave this hold down here. This hold down here. This hold down here. I want to see how it's going to survive this hold down here. So you can see as it got here, there was a rejection of price, which will bring it back down to this level. So we will be seeing some range. Right, maybe like it might come to come and give us a double bottom, which will now give it the momentum to spike up. Right, that's for GU. I think we need to come down from the four hour time frame to give us this double bottom, which will give the reason, which will give it the enough reason, enough momentum to actually shoot up. But for now, uh, although we're looking at even at a, an evening star, don't be in a hurry yet. It has some hold those, it has GU has. Do you have some hold those to clear? Let me just see if you want to see around here. I think it's nicer like this. But it's nicer like this. Nicer like this. Let me see how do you actually clear out of these hold those around here. So clean these hold those. Clean these hold those around here. This resistance breaking then definitely then the upside. Or best still, why I'm not I will not be so I will not be in a hurry to buy yet. Let me see. This first or second time okay. Just clear, just clear above this level. Clear above this level and we'll be good to go. Clear above this level and I you know what you find. I'm serious about this buying you're going for. Right. So I know that you're serious about buying this one you're going for. That's on GU. Right, why AUDUSD for the longest period? This guy has been. This guy has been giving us bus bulls. Right, for the longest of times, this guy has been as just. Wow. Yes, when this I'm yawning, I'm really tired. It's not easy, easy. Talking on screen like this, coming up live here, yeah, talking, talking, just talking, talking, talking. I get really easily tired with this. So you can see, guys. Uh, let, me let me clean this again. For the longest period of time, ADUSD has just been. For the long for the longest months are those been around this area from here to this level that those been inside here from here to here that's in our work for months now 
I mean, since this year, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. I say since this year, we have this is what we have done. Ooh, that's been coming down. It's from the weekly time frame. You can see that we have not been able to successfully break out of this level. All right, let me do something on the daily time frame. Uh, okay, let me use the daily time frame as my working tool. This is the daily time frame as my working tool. So we can see, guys, for the longest of times, uh, okay, we just sorry for the many lines. Sorry for the many lines. This is the uh, this is AUD USD and uh, AUD USD has been on a serious range like a serious range for since the year. But since the year, it has been on a serious range since the beginning of this year. And you can see for for a long time we've been playing around this guy. This we are around here, yeah, playing to so we'll be able to break it to this to the neckline of this head and shoulders here and that's a rejection. We went back up there. As a rejection back down. So the thing is, guys, for for if a if uh, a particular asset is refusing to react above any level, right? For the longest time, we have just been below this below this with uh, inside this range, right? And we have refused to break either up. Right, or come down to this level, right? It, it, it only shows you something that uh, tells you something that uh, this is not the best asset to you would want to be looking at to do it. That's true. Right? It, it only shows you that this is not the best asset you want to look at for to to tweet, right? And also. Uh, the bears, right? For also, for the longest times, the bears are actually the ones in control, right? You know, the bears are, and let me just let me just say, let me, let, me, let me just make it a lot easier for you. AUD USD, AUD is looking like a strong guy. Is a strong, uh, this year, thus far this year, AUD, AUD, AUD has been a strong guy, and uh, USD too is has been gaining momentum too in a way. So these two being strong, strong or weak, weak. These two have been, this AUD, have, AUD and USD have had a very close strength. Now that is what you use. Their strength has been almost equal, either in, either, either, either strong, strong or weak, weak. And that is why both. That's why the, the, the market is looking has been looking like this. They've had a close. Their strength has their, their strength has been really close, and that is why they've been like this. Right, so when you have a strong, strong or a weak, weak, when you when, when you are to combine, blend in strong, strong or weak, weak, you can have a market situation like this. Right, so that's what sometimes when you see that okay, maybe Euro USD is trying to buy, it takes a lot of time for AUD USD to adjust and start buying. So because it is also because it is really really. Because of it's the 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 strength, right? That means the word the almost equal strength it has with the USD, literally, right? Almost equal, the strength because of the, the almost equal strength it has with the USD, literally. Right? So you can see these guys. Uh, you can see this. You can see this. Uh, We can see this right now, and uh, for the best, naturally, I won't, I won't, I won't want you to tweet this, dude. Naturally, me, I won't want you to tweet this, dude. So you can see from the four-hour time frame, some, some of us, some, some persons who are trying to buy AUS, you can see because of what is happening with uh, 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 around the XY, and also what Euro USD is seeing. Uh, hey, I want to really come down, and so that's what is going on. But for the longest, but but then. But for then the USD seems to be a lot more stronger. 
If not, even if they have a, a, a close trend, the USD seems to be lost. And that's why, for you, if you notice, for the best times, this guy has just been bearish overall. Structurally, they want to take it up to from the monthly time frame that this guy has just been bearish overall. He just wants to go down to test, to come down to this level. So no matter what uh, you are is saying, oh, I want to buy. This guy wants to. This guy is insisting for the longest time. It wants to just come and feel this. This is the dream of AUSD. I want to come and test this level before anything, before anything else. So for, so as well for the best time, you can see that this guy is always trying to come down. Any, any small, he looks for any opportunity to, to short. He looks for any opportunity to want to come down. He doesn't want to come and fulfill this dream of touching the support before any other reversal will be expected. So you can see, we have, when we look at the candlesticks, we're having more sales, more pressure from the sales, more, more bearish candles, telling that the sellers are more on AUD, USD. But then this, not the, this, isn't a cool, this, this structure is not really cool. It's not the best play I, will, I want to trade in the market. That's true, right? It's not the best play I want to trade in the market. Now, AU and USD JPY, for looking at JPY PS, USD JPY is looking, also, is looking good, but it's also looking really crazy. Now, the thing is, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are the, the market lately has been, hasn't been in the best of forms, even if it has been trending. The entries has been very difficult, right? People have been maybe uh, able to maybe make money off the trend of the market and those who use limit orders. But it's also dangerous. I don't really like using limit orders because, come on, the market is not a, it's not your father house, your father's house. I love entering the market conservatively, seeing everything align. Then I enter. Not that it just spike one can one spiking thing like this. Now you just pop, enter and shoot out, shoot shoot up immediately again. I don't really like that. So this is just, I think this was a pullback to the ups, from the upside coming back that maybe we might be seeing the reverse as soon. Right? So this is, uh, okay, let me just show something is from the upper. So I want to believe that this is, this is what is happening. So this is what is happening around this and uh okay uh it's, it's looking like okay we have broken broken this dude and uh, okay this is something let me print the story the way it is okay all right so on a usd jpy it's going to be this bearish because jpy is looking bullish so this guy is looking it's really bearish it's really bearish, really bearish, it's really, 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 really bearish. So maybe we might see this happen to this point and before any reversal. Or from here, let me go to the daily time frame. And look at it carefully. So we are a neighboring star and uh, we are coming down, coming down the way we are coming down. So we've come down to this significant level. I want to, I think we're gonna come down maybe the third is twenty four in it. So if I if for anything, I'll be looking at for pullbacks to short uh pullbacks and the opportunity to short or break here. So the pullbacks to short, this is what I mean. Or if we go, or if we go back up. Then I want to see that test of this support level to take it up. All right, I want to see the test of that support level to take it up. So in that way, this is what I'm looking at for on USD JPY. All right, uh, it's looking at the shorts are winning. I'm actually looking at the shorts are winning because of this situation we have here. It's like a double top, and uh, we have breached the neckline, and uh, you know what? You know, you know, you know, you know what it is. But you know what it is. So the next I want to look at for is uh GG. It's me as I say, okay, let's look at GG. So GG has just been inside this range. They are just been ranging, 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 ranging. So I need to break out of clear out of this range for me to be to be sure that it's serious to do business. 
right? So next guy, maybe a USD, uh, a USD chef. This one P I like. I used to like. Actually, used to like this P a lot. Here's the chef. Uh, the guy does a copy and paste of the uh, the X Y. So even EU EU knows it. Right, I want to. So maybe if I, for me, maybe if he clears here, fine. Below for for me, it will bounce up, fine. So I, want, I just want to see it do what it can, what what it wants to do around this table. Right now, the next important guy I want to look at for is gold. Right, that's what is gold? What what is gold? And I told you guys, be careful with gold this period. Right, this is not the best thing you want to be holding to gold positions. You can see we touch here, bounce, touch here, bounce. Now we came, touch, bounce. Now we've come and touch again. And it's looking, it's looking good for gold. Like there was a bounce going on, but um, looking good that as a bounce from here. So let us see how. To, uh, okay, like I also pointed out for you guys um last week on gold. So you can see this was this is the left shoulder. Right, this is good on gold, guys. This is really good for gold. This is the left shoulder, this is the head, this is the right shoulder, and okay. I think I'm gonna be bullish on gold. Yes, I'm gonna be bullish on gold. Right, I'm gonna be bullish on gold. I'm gonna be bullish, very bullish on gold because of this. I'm gonna be bullish on gold because of this. Right. I'm gonna be bullish on gold because of this. Because of this, I'm gonna be bullish on gold. So that this is my this is my view on gold. So I'll be looking out for more for opportunities to really really long gold. But you have to be careful. You can see the way what happened. So this this was NFP of Friday, and you can see that gold took everybody out, whether you are buying or selling. Right, gold just cleared every point, every stop loss before properly moving. But what what you want you know you noticed was that the news respected this trend, right? Respected the trend, respected the trend. So you can see this is what I'm expecting to see bullish on board. So that is all about what. So BTC market sometimes sometimes I'm recording this. I so say so come and see oh come and see. I remember I shared something with you guys last last night. If you break around this right now, I I I the one I can see around the around the and the crypto right now is that's just <laughs> those are like this. I'm looking at the markets, right? Those like them because uh, some more heartbreaking drops might happen. Some more heartbreaking drops is on it's it's loading, right? Some more heartbreaking drops is loading. Some more hard breaking drops is today, but let's see. Just keep you just keep watching it. This was the first case, first staircase that was broken. Now we are in the second staircase, right? If it's broken, you can have we just keep broken, breaking, breaking up until it gets really, really down, right? But for now, I'm not just I'm not interested in on BTC, I'm not interested in BTC, I'm not interested in BTC, right? All my I think I have all, all my money on. Almost all my money in USDT, waiting for the perfect, uh, for the for a good confirmation to take up the market. Most of my assets are on USDT right now. So that's that. That is me on US. That is, let me see that. Let me just look at this from the weekly time frame and see. I see that there has been this this area is a very stubborn one, really, really taking the market, giving the market a ride. But I feel still feel that there's a positive side of this story. I've seen a positive side of this story. I've seen a positive side of this story. You can see that, right? I've seen a positive side of this story. I've seen a positive side of this story. Maybe I just come at this trend line and uh, okay. before we break it. Well, since we got take, we could not break, we got take. This was like a double top and. Uh, oof. 
just this double top i don't know and this this is the reason this double top here is the reason why i'm just really 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 i'm not so confident on what btc was going to be next so guys i'm going to be like i told you guys most of my money is already on usd so i'm not really sure but i see a clear break Then we can talk about this but for now this area we need to break it first we need to break out of that level first before we can clear on what usd is going to be doing so again if you've not subscribed to this ch channel please ensure to do so again and also the trade and grow which challenge we are we, 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 we it's already up right so i'll be giving you more three more lights on that on my next screen guys so my next screen i'll be doing more lights on that on my next so guys uh let's meet on my next screen to my screen i told you guys got so much value from the charts you've seen my projections for the month of august you've seen just what i'm looking at for the new week too and also all the um, assets and peers i'll actually be focusing on majorly eu guys eu is just a big deal for me there may be uj uj also is forming nicely so these two guys are i'll be concentrating majorly for this month so two guys i'll be trading majorly eu maybe gu then talk about uh, they will also look at uh uj so these three guys are three peers i'll be really 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 focusing on uh, the month of august and also i'll be trading them uh going all in on them all out on them so guys if you want to be a part of uh my trading you want to see me trade you want to also trade these peers with me and make money again the trade and grow with challenge is for you right it's all it's just one something i feel I should do i should just do and give to you guys right so again let me just put uh which uh which was on what was on the fee well it's just ten dollars so don't, don't don't let anybody ask you to pay anything more than that it's just ten dollar and that ten dollar but those who are paying it in this august that we are that means you'll be getting my 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 the my the benefits for free in august and your money starts counting from september that means if you're paying now, you're accessing it now, although they, it's supposed to start September 4th, but you can you some of the benefits I'll be giving up, I'll be uh, keeping you busy with some of the benefits so you can start making money for yourself. So, uh, in fact, before you even pay your ten dollar, hopefully, within, within this month, you will have recovered the money for the session fee and also increase your accounts to an extent before you even start trading for the month of September. Where your fee will start counting so it's a big win for a lot of you guys so this is more like a giveaway this me doing a give a very big giveaway to everyone watching my vo videos everyone under the sound of my voice why is everyone seeing my face right now it's a big it's a feel it's, it's one big opportunity for a lot of you guys to make money from the forex market right so if you if you have, my advice is share this good news right share this good news with as many traders as you know as many persons as you know share this good news with them let's all go make the money right and also very importantly if you are yet to uh subscribe to this channel please do so right subscribe subscribe i shouldn't be stressing on this every now and then you know it's you need to do that right so you can catch up with all the amazing twitch setups i i share and call here and also very importantly if you're a newbie a complete newbie you really want to learn how to trade you only really want to know how to do this you really want to understand this thing for yourself right again the link is down below from the description section you can get to sign up for the forex mastery course or the crypto mastery course or you can also uh, go, and also i, I always advise go also for my choose a main mentorship plan that suits your budget let me work with you right i'm all out to serve you right let me work with you and help you attain that confidence get that no gain that that education that proper education you need to trade this market long term to be in the game long term right so this is why this is just why what we do as fanatic digital this is the reason and the essence of the forex master course and the crypto master course the goal is to make you rich that's the goal the goal is to make you rich and if you if you understand where the world is heading to today how a lot of, a lot of things are evolving a lot, a lot of changes are coming up on the world especially economically is telling on people's finances especially if you're in nigeria you know what's going on you know you have no choice but to look for a way to make more money right so this is for you this is a big giveaway for you so uh i shouldn't be stressing on this hoping i want to see your messages i want to see you guys on my dm signing up for this 
uh, challenge, right? Because what, again, why I call it a challenge is because we have to, we're working with set goals, strict trading plan, target, and so that there will be no over trading, there will be no over leveraging. If you're just trading the market naturally, if you're just trading the market naturally with a strict trading plan and making the money and getting out of the market, it's as simple as that. Right. So if this works for you, this is what you want to receive. And I would advise you to take the trade and grow which challenge. Right. I'll be dropping a, I think okay, fine. I'll be dropping a special link on this comment section where that can direct you to my DM so you can my WhatsApp DM so you can actually uh get the course. Get sorry, the sign up for the challenge, right? Sign up for the challenge. Or even get the forest master course. Anyone you want to, I can give you a quite I can facilitate that process for you. So guys, see you guys next week. Hopefully, let's see how the market plays out. And also, those of you who are avoiding the, the challenge, let's go make some money, guys. Let's go make some money.